Ion Radio is back on the air from the 2024, or for the 2024 Star Wars Armada World Championship here at Adepticon. I'm at the Hyatt Regency, and uh, along next to me here on my left, your right, depending on how you want to look at it, is Dallas Kemp. It might be upside down. The camera might be flipped. Uh, it could. I hope not. I mean, I'm sure chat will let us know. My if phone, that every is the time case. I try to like orientate it, it doesn't do it. You know, I've always had problems doing that whenever you, you do the little phone thing like this, and, and then, it just doesn't quite work. And then you're just trying to make it do it. it doesn't ha, have do you it. ever done the thing where you start holding the phone upside down and. Uh, uh, you know, it never flips up and you can't figure out why. Yeah, I can't figure yeah. out why. And then I got to shut everything off and like, uh -huh. oh, it's just pain. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? So, Dallas, welcome so much Thank to the program so here on Ion Radio. Are you enjoying Adepticon? I'm absolutely enjoying Adepticon. I love Adepticon. It's one of my favorite shows. It is, might be my favorite show just in general. Just um, big community. Mm -hmm. And it is community. It's almost family, right? It's like it's. There are a lot of that, yes. It's where everybody comes together like instead of like. It, it's where everybody comes together to like game and like share mm -hmm. in the passions yes. and and you're there to do the thing that everybody else is there to do and love and man that energy is infectious and every time I leave Adepticon like first off I'm ready to paint because mm -hmm. it's the most hobby centric show like I love how hobby centric it is um, and then just the community I'm ready to play a game right yeah I'm, I'm like I'm like I mean I need to play that game I need to go play the game at home and, and walking around here you're seeing the different tables and some of them are just like really gorgeous yeah. with the different miniatures that yeah. they have out there or or sometimes just the game boards are gorgeous with gorgeous. the illustrations uh, and you know they, they really attract you in to want to play that game all that much more because uh, art's a very important part of any game yeah well, yeah, I mean, the art is, I mean, even a board game, right? The art is what mm -hmm. brings it together. And like, you know, like a card game, the art, like it tells the story, right? It, mm -hmm. it creates the world. And for, you know, things like Armada, you know, um, you know, all of our other games, Legion, you know, Shatterpoint, Crest Protocol, like the art of the miniature where you get to participate in the art, though. The hobby part, right. Right? Yeah. And it's such a key fundamental part in what makes uh, makes hobby miniature games and mentor games even, it just in general, so unique and so distinct from all the other games is you get to participate in the art of the game right. and bring your joy, your point of view, your perspective, your heart into it and share it with the rest of us on the table. So that's that, that's that's what drew me to, to miniatures. Uh -huh. And then I was walking around and like, there, dude, I lost my mind. There's the uh, there's a there's a there's a cat over here that has like the uh, a ship just like festooned with LEDs. Yes. And I was like losing my mind, and they're like, <laughs> "Oh, if you like that one, you should see this one." And I start walking around, and I'm like looking at all the light, and I'm like, "You need to light that ship up." He goes, "Well, they all light up." I'm like, "Light them all up, please." Like, and and, and I, we've got a couple players that we know that I've seen locally uh, that like literally do every single one of their squadrons, every one of their That's ships. Awesome. And it is beautiful when they light them up. I mean, they're replacing those, like, uh, what are the little CR-2032 batteries, yeah. uh, you know, on a daily basis when they go through a tournament. This I mean, but, yeah. This one fellow, he said he's doing his uh, Super Star Destroyer, mm -hmm. right? He's like, I'm going to put 800 lights in this. And I'm like, well, I'll send you mine. <laughs> like, if you want to do, do two of those and just send that one back to me, that would be He's like, no, 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 <laughs> sir, I'm not doing two. I, most of the time when we've asked that exact same question, you know, hey, do you want to do one for us? The first thing they say is, look, I, I did one for me, and I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I don't need to do any more. It's so uh, much work, I bet. It, you know, it's got to be, especially when you're drilling all those little holes and those little towers in that cityscape on yeah. like, the Super Star Destroyer. And I've never it's done crazy. LEDs. And they're, like, telling me, like, you got to use a lighter. You got to <laughs> heat it up. You got to make, like, a little mushroom on the end like mm -hmm. to make the light, like, diffuse the proper way. And I'm like, well, that's too much work. Like, I need you to do it. Yeah, yeah, get someone else. Yeah, you'll, do, you'll continue doing the paint job. Yo, part absolutely. Of it, right? I'll yeah. paint it. And you're actually painting, a, uh, uh, doing a couple classes uh, here at Adepticon, correct? Yeah, yeah. I did a class uh, yesterday on uh, speed painting. Mm -hmm. uh, today we did some metallics, like how to paint with true metallic metals. A lot of people teach non metallic metals. I'm doing true metallic metals, um, which is interesting because, like, I paint true metallic. You know what I mean by those, right? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, yeah. Maybe you should maybe uh, explain for everyone at home, though. So, like, non-metallic metals, which you see in, like, classic art paintings, like, there's no actual metallic flakes right. in the paint. Um, and you try to recreate the emotion and the feel of metallics in, in art. Um, and true metallics is, like, there's actually the metal flakes. Um, I actually use the philosophy of non-metallic with metallic paints. 
Oh, that's to interesting. Try to make it more dynamic. Yeah. If huh. you come by the booth, I'll show you what I painted. I may have to do that when we yeah. get an opportunity, a little break. It's Din Djarin. It's Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I'm definitely going to be stopping by. Yeah, when I'm by. not on air, which <laughs> will eventually happen. Maybe. Not today. Uh, not today, but it may eventually happen. I'm going <laughs> to stop by the booth. I want to see some of the work that you've got, Dallas, because I'm excited to look at that. I love uh, painting miniatures. Unfortunately, I don't have as much time uh, as, I, as I would like. An hour a day will change your life. Uh, it will, so. You know, practice a little bit every day, just a little every day. So I know my wife's listening. See, honey, Dallas said I'm allowed to have like an hour a day to paint miniatures. An hour a day. So. Um, anyways, don't put that on me, though. Uh, no, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying I'm to get it. Uh, <laughs> 15 minutes, ma'am. He gets 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, five minutes, sweetie. Five, five minutes. Um, I like how we're <laughs> it's going down. I'm, I'm Please, just five yeah. minutes. Let me let me look at the paintbrush. No, my wife's actually uh, very kind and great because she's allowing me to sit here all weekend long. So thank you, honey. We appreciate being it. supportive is important. Yes, being supported is important. We should all support each other. That's yeah, my belief. Definitely. So let's get into a couple interesting questions that I think you are a great person to to answer these for. I'm ready. Let me drink uh, a cup of yeah, coffee. Yeah, you've got your cup of coffee. I, I've got mine. By the way, we gave you a uh, one of our official Ion Radio I got a mugs. Mug. So you know, at least we can do for you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, yeah, and talking I drink to us. coffee all the time. So well, now you got another well, mug to drink it out of. Would you be mad if I use it as a paint cup though? No, feel free. Okay, great. Yeah, because then you, then you get to see the logo. You paint over it. Make some new designs. Send me some pictures. We'll throw it up on well, Instagram. I mean, I could see like taking some like blue and like adding like a little blue ziggle zaggle about <laughs> that like maybe like a little magenta you know uh like little uh edge highlight over there like some lights coming from that side on the dark side like that'd be cool i, I should have brought a couple <laughs> paints here uh because you would just uh, you would you'd be here all i got my brushes days. in my pocket who else but dallas camp keeps brushes in his pocket i carry them around with me everywhere you know it's never you never know when someone's going to hand you a pot of paint uh, that you see I, I, I knew i should have done that but anyways so armada is primarily pre painted. If one of these miniatures. people handed me a pot of paint in their ship, it would, I would start uh, oh, painting. You, you would, would be painting it. squadron ships, everything. I, that I don't squad doubt. Ships. No, just, just the whole ships. I'll do the bigger that. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Put some freehand on it or something. Well, I, hey, put some, you know, uh, uh, just add the detail to it, make it pop all that much. I mean, more. just even the little red lights, right? Well, that'd be fun to do. It, yeah. it just it stands out a little differently. Yeah. I've done a couple ships myself where you just add a little bit of color. Make it pop and then Does make it different touch? from everything else. And that's all you need to do. It doesn't take much. Uh, those Armada ships are painted really well. Right? Yes, the they factory are. Ones. And like sometimes all it takes is just like, well, I mean, I know what some of these questions are, right? <laughs> that one right there, the first question, we're yeah. going to lead right into it. Um, like I have a Super Star Destroyer and like I, I, I have two Super Star Destroyers because um, have you seen that thing? It's, <laughs> it's cool. It's awesome. <laughs> um, like that, that where the two, uh, the top and the bottom comes together and the inset where all the yeah, gribble, right, yeah, gribble the, gribbles. Yes. It's not as dark as like, you know, like the actual, like canonical. Right. Because when you see it on screen, it's a lot darker than that outside. Yeah. Correct. Super darker. So I, I really wanted to go back and like do some darkening on there. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, inset gribble panels on the top are the same way. Like. I feel like they need to be a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. And then maybe just like pick out a couple of other things, maybe a little shading, a little highlighting here and there. But then I want to go through and I want to put all those little red lights. Like, because I, I, I don't know how to LED, but I know how to paint. And I want to paint all those little red lights all along that side mm -hmm. and do like a really cool, like, I use a lot of inks when I paint because I think inks are kind of the unsung hero of painting that doesn't get used very much. They add so much vibrancy and punch to yeah. your paints. A and you can get a lot better into those uh, small little grid lines and everything yeah. else, and it's a lot neater than using like a wash. A wash, yeah, like inks. So do like a really intense like uh, mm -hmm. uh, teal glow on those engines so they're really... Oh, yeah. You know, that's the noise that ships make. Huh? But it just takes so little to make those ships just sing, right? Yeah. And I've seen a lot of people paint stuff. So. And there's there's a bunch of them. I'm hoping to get uh, some of the more interesting ones on stream. We've had some really good-looking ones already oh, uh, where we've had these beautiful blue uh, ships that just, again, they're just so vibrant relative to the standard yeah. gray that you see. Uh, we had a gold one that, that came through. Uh, the like, Superstar. Like gold like gold? It was a gold-colored uh, oh, wow. assault frigate. And just like... 
really just shined rel relative to the rest of the, the table. The guppy? The guppy, so, yeah. yeah. All gold. Uh, so I'll show you later. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got yeah, some uh, recordings that. of that. Uh, there was I'm a sure guy over here that somewhere. had like a rusty brown scheme. Uh -huh. And it made me think like um, like I did some uh, I did some X-Wings in mm -hmm. like a like a scum and villainy kind of okay, yeah. kind of style, like real kind of grungy. Mm -hmm. And there were some uh, ships over here that was kind of, it, I don't know if it would, because I couldn't get close enough. They were playing a game, and I didn't want to interrupt, obviously. Sure. Um, but it, they look kind of like scum, like mercenary, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah. Like I want to play with you. Like <laughs> that's that's half the fun, though. I, again, because it's it's you're looking at how people make their squadrons yeah. or their ships and how they yeah. paint them, and it's an expression of their personality. Yeah. Uh, and what they want to kind of portray in the fleets that they're flying. Yeah, um, you're the captain, right? Like, exactly. I, and I, and you, I, that's my favorite part about, like, I, I, I will say that phrase a lot, by the way. <laughs> that's my favorite part. Um, I, I love seeing, like, that. I want to get to know you, and and I want you to t express yourself in your, your tale and your point of view. And so when you, you present your art and I get to see that, like that means so much to me and it like really excites me like i'm like i see your point of view and i see what you're trying to say and that's very interesting to me mm -hmm. let's talk right so. yeah definitely so now one other thing i have seen uh sitting out on some of the tables is yeah the ships are great mm -hmm. and sometimes the ships are painted really well yeah but the squadron's not uh, it might just be the regular colored plastic right the gray plastic and i think part of that is this this um fear maybe uh, of trying to paint sure. something that small and you sure. want to get the detail and sometimes I see these squadrons where Dallas I, I my hand is not that steady uh, neither is mine actually uh, but what advice do you have for these folks that have these squadrons okay. that are unpainted in terms of th that are afraid to take that first step to paint them I, what would you recommend uh, to these individuals mm. um, we are all on different points of the same path mm -hmm. right and we're all here to help each other right asking questions um, um, seeking answers and being open to new things and learning how to fail mm -hmm. right I, that's the biggest lesson it took me a long long time to, 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 to really grasp like the importance of failing um, I, have a, I, have a, I have a kid and I always told him when he was growing up like you never learn from winning you just never learn from winning like the best lessons you know the, the burn hand learns best right the, right yeah the, the mm -hmm. touching the stove um, so those little ships, I've actually painted some, so I know exactly mm -hmm. what you're talking about. You gotta prime them, right? Yep. Um, I use airbrush primer mainly because, like, um, there's nothing wrong with rattle can primer. It's just it's weather dependent, mm -hmm. right? If you're in a humid area, like Harder a rainforest, like some of us. <laughs> like I live in a rainforest, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I use airbrush primer. Um, just take your time, ask some questions if somebody's done it. And just do something simple. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be complex, right? If you just prime it and do like a base coat of gray mm -hmm. and do like a simple black wash, those are very fundamental basic things that, you know, everybody learns how to do at some point. You know, I did it 40 years ago on some, you know, really goofy roadside attraction <laughs> pewter wizard with a crystal like if you're do you know what i'm talking about i, I think i do i might have that miniature lying around somewhere like cause i was in colorado on a family vacation right uh -huh. and we go to like one of those roadside like attraction uh -huh. like uh uh convenience stores where they like the vial of gold and tumbled rocks and like <laughs> the a hat that says colorado right yeah, yeah, yeah. and they had like this this case and there was these little pewter miniatures in there i mean they were tiny too right uh, and there's like a wizard and he's holding like an actual crystal as a okay, crystal yeah, ball yeah, yeah. and i was like oh my gosh i need that i need that wizard <laughs> and i took it home to paint it and i didn't know what i was doing i didn't prime it or nothing yeah, sure. but I, I tried right i gave it a go and and i just kept asking well why didn't i work mm -hmm. why didn't that work well oh well, well, why did that work though right and i just kept doing it and doing it so you said you were not as steady as you used to be no i'm definitely not okay. as steady as i used to be this is my, this is my favorite <laughs> I, i'm like really this digging this favorite. go for it I it's love, your favorite part yeah. i love ergonomics okay weird huh <laughs> The ergonomics of painting. I'm going to get up in the camera for that. I'm scooting up to the table, kids. Keeping your keeping keeping your back straight. Okay. Right. Have you ever heard of painter slouch? Yeah. Like if you go downstairs, they're all 
<laughs> they're I'll hunched over. That, that yeah. sounds like me, folks. This is how I paint. The but painter I mean, slouch. Yeah. I I always so I was studio painter for a long time, right? And um, when you're studio painting, you're painting for eight hours a day, five days a week, right? So you learn a lot of those questions because mm. you go home, and you're like, oh, why does my shoulders hurt? I, I can't imagine why, <laughs> right? So keeping your back straight, keeping your diaphragm open, hmm. breathing is super important. Elbows on the table, about shoulder width, lick the part, and then put your wrist together, right? This is a miniature. This is a miniature, kids. Put your wrist together. Mm -hmm. Use your pinky as an anchor and paint just like that and breathe. Just relax and breathe. When you go in for those fine details, people have a tendency to hold their breath. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible, terrible thing to do. What happens when you hold your breath? Your body hates it. Yeah, it your does. Body, it. You go into shock, right? Because yeah. you want to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Your body thinks you're dying, which is terrible. That's not what you want, right? Not what you want at all. Are we doing good on time or bad I, I, on time? I, we can give you as much time as you need, Dallas. I don't even think the next round will begin for another uh, a couple minutes. So uh, if there's nobody out here, we're, we're no, looking we're pretty good. good. So hey, we can keep talking. I mean, we talk, uh, you know, any number of painting styles. Who knows want. what's going to happen? Uh, we really can't. Now, you've kind of already half answered this next question for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, but in games like Shatterpoint, yeah. uh, you have your individual models. Yeah. Uh, let's say it's like an Anakin Skywalker example, and you can create your own personality. We yeah. were talking about that from what's in your heart, but it's sometimes it's a representation of what you think the character is, and sometimes it's as close of a replication of what the character looked like, whether it's the cartoon, the movie, or, or a live poster or something yeah. like that. Now, with Star Wars Armada, the ships... They're, they're kind of like pieces of terrain. They don't necessarily have a personality in and of themselves. Now, you started talking about how you're the captain of the ship. You're the admiral of this fleet. Yeah. Um, and and it's, it's like, how do you reflect that onto your ship? You know, because it's a combination of the crew that you're commanding and how you are, you know, like Thrawn, for example, yeah. has that Chimera logo on the bottom yeah. uh, of his ship. Uh, Which so, was super awesome. Uh, that's pretty neat, uh, especially in the latest series, getting to see that in a live yeah, action. Yeah, that was so reference. cool. That looking. was really neat. Uh, and watching uh, a whole bunch of the chimeras out here. Uh, they're doing the, it. They're, they're out here all over the yeah. place, which is great. So you already started talking about it in terms of you know wanting to redo the Superstar story. But if you wanted to express uh, your concept of creating the personification mm -hmm. of, of a starship, how would you do that? Okay. I love this. I love this question so much. <laughs> um, the, so I think that for me, the ships have personality, mm -hmm. right? I look at that sh I look at the guppy, yep, right? The guppy. Super Star Destroyer. They have personalities. Mm -hmm. Like you look at that Super Star Destroyer, you know what that thing is up to. Oh, it's, it's a monster. Like yeah. It's up to no good. Yes. Right. Right. It, 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 you want to avoid it. This old right? hey, no, no, It's a little fish in we'll the water, see, we'll right? See what happens. Right. right. Yeah. Um, and it's like terrain, right? Like people bring this up with terrain. Like, mm -hmm. how do you get around painting terrain? Like, and for me, terrain is just it's part. It's a character in the game as mm -hmm. well, right? So for me, would if I like to start thinking about your squadron, I want to start thinking about the story, mm -hmm. right? Who's the captain? And what are their goals? Hmm. And then start going from there. Like me, I'm definitely, I immediately kind of go to like scum and villainy when I think about, because like, like, like immediately, like I love the idea of like a super star destroyer taken over by a bunch. Like, I mean, that sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud, <laughs> but a bunch of, a super star destroyer taken over by, you know, a, a, a group of um, mercenary outlaws, right? And like, what would they do to that ship? Right, yeah. Right? Like, would they change the lights? Like, maybe. Maybe. Like, they would change the paint job. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, I love, um, I love like, Star Wars has very unique uh, stripe designs. Yes. Where, like, it's like a stripe and then, like, maybe an angle will break off and it'll become a wider stripe. Mm -hmm. You know, there's very unique shapes in Star Wars that you can play with. I love adding those, especially asymmetrically. Ooh, so, like, yeah. maybe one wing mm -hmm. has a stripe and the other wing doesn't. And then, like, maybe, like, y the number of stripes is, like, the rankings mm -hmm. or something like that. Like, anything like that, any, like, little color that I can just pop on and tie my squads together or my, my fleet together, uh, that's kind of where I start. 
He doesn't want to play. Talk to, to, I, I. All right, well, uh, we're, we're arranging uh, what we're doing here on, on table one. Um, Give me one second, Dallas. I'm sorry. You got to take care of no, something you're real quick. All right. I'm going to say here. I want to talk about. I was just, I was paint, I was just paint talk. Um, what were we talking about? Stripes, designs, like the chimera, like the logo on the bottom of the chimera, right? Like um, bringing that maybe to like smaller ships, maybe on the side and not so much on the bottom, maybe on the top to like. So I think there's lots of different ways to uh, create that fleet look and bring your personality or the personality you're trying because I think that you said also something very interesting like you know your version of Darth Vader versus like replicating like the canonical version of Darth mm -hmm. Vader both both I've done both right like sure I'm like I want to do Darth Vader exactly as close as I can from what I saw sure. on Empire Strikes Back right but then also I want to do this one that's more artistic like um, I've done a Darth Vader where like um, the the red OSL is coming mm -hmm. oh, from the bottom, yeah, yeah. Ooh. and then I put like little tiny like flecks, so it's like embers. Ooh, so neat. like the ground around him is on fire, the air is on fire, and there are these embers casting through the air, right? And so I put these little flecks in there to represent that. Okay. So it's like my interpretation, my story. Both are great, and I think you can really do that on these these ships just sure. as well. Well, I mean, so. Hey, this is cool, uh, <laughs> and I want to see like an ember on fire. Actually, now there's an idea: painting up one of your ships that looks like it's flaming up and on fire. Or sculpt scarred. Well, that could be fun. A little green stuff on the side. Yeah, like yeah. Get, get some putty. Like I mean, I think there's possibility for like really adding some conversion to mm -hmm. ships. Like you know, you know, add add. You know, you can. I don't know exactly off the top of my head. It's it's bigger conversation. <laughs> Oh, sure, just yeah. spontaneous but like you know if you wanted to do like a like a like something that's really like in the middle of battle right and like you know it's still in the fight though right mm -hmm. like I love those kind of characters and those kind of stories anyways sure where where the 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 thing you're watching the hero the the protagonist that you know they're beaten they're busted up but they're still in the fight right right yeah. so like you got like a little little Ex explosion coming off your ship but yeah, I'm still <laughs> fighting I'm not going down yet like that could be really cool uh, you definitely have to take a look at the Superstar Destroyer uh, that had the battle on top of it I, I need I'm, to see I'm, I'm going to see if we Where can't find that for you. if it's not here we I will show you some pictures okay. of it all right so it bring looks me like a Star Destroyer da uh, yes definitely uh, yeah Admiral Dallas <laughs> demands a, a Star Destroyer so let's do a quick lightning round okay all right <coughs> Ooh, I got so, coughs. You, you okay? I'm good. All right, good deal. So, look, uh, thinking about staying in the mind frame of Star okay. Wars Armada. Got it. What's your favorite ship? Super Star Destroyer or the Assault Frigate. Okay, two good ones. Two good ones. Like, I'm a sucker for that, for those. <laughs> like, the my favorite ship in, in, in X-Wing is the Houndstooth. Oh, beautiful ship, beautiful ship. Like, mm -hmm. I, I love designs that are, like, kind of on that weird edge. Mm-hmm. Right? So, like, but, I mean, you can't get around just any of the Star Destroyers, too. Like, mm -hmm. any of the Star Destroyers are really Iconic cool. ship in the, in it's the just Star so Wars iconic, universe. Right? It, it is. Just, when, when it passes the mom test. <laughs> the mom test? <laughs> yeah, the mom test. Like, if anyone's, if, if anyone's mom walked by and, and like, looked at the table uh -huh. and saw a Star Destroyer on it, that's Star Wars. Like, okay, I got they you. They know, I got you. they get it, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, it's it's just so iconic and just so it reverberates so deep mm -hmm. that when I see that, I'm like, I I want to play with that. I want to I want to own that thing. Oh sure. Uh, okay, second question. You've been able to kind of walk around. You've been looking at art pieces. Yes. So I'm gonna maybe, I'm gonna ask you a question and maybe follow this up a little bit different. So first of all, what's the best part of watching these Armada games from the sidelines? Uh, just the creativity of the ship. I was, the, you know, I, I, I always get blown away. Mm -hmm. Like, seriously, like, I could not stop. They were, like, tra traveling around, like, <laughs> making me go to, like, more people with lights on the ships. Yeah. And, like, um, I, I hadn't seen, like, uh, I can't remember what ship it was. Um, it has, like, four barrel exhaust on the back. 
Oh, it's probably one of the, uh, oh, oh, hang up. Uh, 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 it's probably one of the Republic ships, probably the Venator. The chat will correct me if it's I'm a, wrong. It was, it was about this big. Oh, the little uh, Pelta. Uh, yeah. Kind of like a small little, uh, it had four you know, about the size of a marker, a couple engines in the back. I think. Yeah, four, yeah, 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 four tube engines on the back. But the the he he put the lights in there, mm -hmm. and the plastic actually allowed the light to like shine through ever Ooh, so slightly. Neat, neat. So it looked like the metal was heated up, uh -huh. and like plasma glow was inside. <laughs> and I was like, "Did you do that on purpose? Like, did you did you sand it down? Did right. you like?" He goes, "No, happy accident." I'm like, "Ah, happy like, accidents, Bob Ross. Bob what Rossin. more could you probably ask about that?" So. I was blown away at how just like just just dramatic it looked on the on the table. Yeah. And especially because that room's a little darker it over is. there, and like they were just like, oh, he had four of them lined up on mm -hmm. on the table playing the game, and they just looked so cool. I was <laughs> just like, look at, I, I couldn't, I, I just ran over to him too. I was just like, I'm coming to look at your ships. Folks, you're gonna if you're here at Adepticon, you got to come over to the Hyatt, check out the Armada stuff because I have a feeling that Dallas is not gonna leave the Armada <laughs> area for about fifteen or twenty minutes. Or if and, I steal somebody's uh, ship, I might. Or or if you're playing, you know, guard your ships because Dallas would. may take one. I might. Uh, and and you'll see it on a future Atomic <laughs> Mass painting stream, just hiding there in the background. This is in the background, all lit up. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> So uh, you, you've kind of hit all my lightning <laughs> round questions. I haven't even had a chance to get to them. So Dallas, you're, you're definitely one of the most enthusiastic guests we've had on the show. Uh, and, and you were definitely a blast and a great guy uh, ah, to have come out here. So uh, nah. I'm just going to see if I can't turn them red, folks. So I get blushy sometimes. <laughs> but, but I really appreciate you coming on the channel, I sharing some of your here. thoughts. So you, of course, are welcome anytime uh, to it. hang out. Uh, I know you are kind of kept to a schedule. You probably have I some am. classes to teach. Otherwise, we'd invite you to stay for the entire round. But then I'd have to go and buy a pot of paint, or at least two. You need at least two pots of paint. And also, like, um, I can't ever remember the program, but uh, the program where you can draw over the screen. Oh, uh, uh, Telestrator, yes. Te oh, my oh, gosh. I, I, I'm regretful that we are setting that up tomorrow. We're going to give that a, a field test. I don't have it running today. Oh, Otherwise, man. we would be having way more fun. I love uh, telestrating <laughs> and doing and doing play-by-plays. Um, trust me, I'm not talking about the game when I'm doing it, though. And, uh, we'll have doodles on, on everything, but that's half the excitement then, right? Yeah, yeah. We just, oh, man, Telestrators, that's where it's at. <laughs> Get that set up. We're, we're, we're almost there, folks, uh, for that, <laughs> and we are getting players here out on the table. Like I said, Dallas did have Yeah, to look at that ship there. So, it's all painted uh, up. It's, Dallas isn't going to be leaving the, the streaming area. He's just going to go start looking at these ships, Come picking them up, me. maybe taking one or two. But definitely, if you're here at Adepticon, check out one or two of the classes that yeah. Dallas has cause, uh, and, and definitely the miniatures that you've brought. Because uh, from what I'm gathering, just from what I'm hearing about, these sound like fun. Uh, and I might leave here for a little bit just to go check them yeah, out. Yeah, you should come check them out. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do uh, here on the channel is give us a few seconds. What We are going to switch to the overhead view here so we can start seeing what we have coming out. Uh, and then we will very shortly get into our mainline program. So we will be right back audio. We're going to keep the video going. But once again, uh, I'm Ken, and this is Dallas. Thank you, man, for coming out. Thanks really appreciate it. Peace.